Las Padilla City Cavite number 24, J.L. De Los Santos. Shooting guard from Dawi Negros Oriental number 12, Alex Tapten. Small forward from Moncada, Tarlac number 27, King Caralipio. Power forward from San Luis Pampanga number 26, Brian Santos. And at center from Basud Camarines Norte number 15, Justin Arena. Point guard from Guagua Pampanga number 17, Jason Castro. Shooting guard from Seattle Negros Oriental number 8, Calvin Optana. Small forward from Canisai City Cebu number 16, Art Arpogoy. Power forward from San Fernando La Union number 45, Brendan Ganuelos Rosser. And at center from Iloco Sur number 32, Henry Galinato Jr. Alec was mo more, more known as a defensive player in college, although he had that capability to create and attack the basket. The outside shooting was not yet consistently there, but he's slowly developing that. And for him to emerge as a 22-point scorer in this league is really sensational uh, improvement from Alex. In to any potential matches, right. matchups in the playoffs. Although, one, one change here for TNT is we're seeing Henry Galinato yeah. start here for them instead of Kelly Williams, the usual starter for TNT. Calvin Tana splashes home a three, a big three here for the TNT Tropangiga. We'll get that score fixed in for you guys in just a bit as, uh, of course, the TNT Tropangiga uh, have been relying on the offense of a Calvin Optana, just like Converge has been relying on the steady play of a Justin Arana. Justin Arana, another promising player here for for, for Converge, and you mentioned uh, Alex Stockton of this team for sure. Absolutely, coach. Take a look at that again. On the arc here for Converge Fiber Xers, and he has attempted 84 shots as our Pogoy gets it from close range. That's 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 your proof that again. Here's our Pogoy, first finishing up close, and then soon he'll do here. And, and we are in the four minute mark here of the first quarter. We haven't seen Kelly. That's absolutely right, coach, as uh, our Pogoy hits another three pointer. He was uh, shooting 50% a while ago, now a bit more than that. Kelly Williams, of course, on the bench, at the end of the bench, standing and hopefully staying warm. Santos goes inside, basket and one. It feels like Santos only knows how to score in intervals of three, so Santos. Because you're going to put a smaller player on him because of his ability to hit the outside shot, and that's what Chotre is doing with Glenn Cobontin. But if Santos... Varilla. Going in with the spin, gets it off the glass. Yeah, you have to feel for BJ Andrade at that time, uh, just fresh off the bench, and all of a sudden had to defend Varilla, who was already warm. Luis Menecho, dictating traffic. The restream from Mandenberg, he goes left, he attacks, the floater is good and one! And uh, has had an up and down stint here in his PBA career so far. Player towards the screen, where there is help defense. They go to the corner to Octana, and if you leave him that open, he'll drain the three. What a hit here from Calvin Octana, they were off to the races, and Octana was left open enough to drain a three right at the As we said, there's a lot of promise in this young team. And that's a great defensive stand there from Jules Ponferrada. It is a five on four break, and D and D take advantage. They take Velesho will inbound this one. And Stockton with the jumper, that is short, but the follow up finally falls for Andrade, and he'll have the end one opportunity. Could not find Melesha. Ryan Reyes, one of the better defenders. Hands it off to Mark Ebonio, who finishes. Guys, they will use their bench a lot. Here's Ryan Reyes with the steal that leads to two fast break points for Barkley Ebonio. You know, coach, fast break points for TNT. They already have to Ebonia, who are our full boy. Here's Reyes, so try a three. That time in and out, the ball falls to Santos. And Santos to Santos. And Santos gets another one. That looks off Arana. Arana drops the leather, but he gets it again and he scores two. That's the kind of composure time. It doesn't bother him at all. And the fundamental footwork here as well from Justin Arana. It's an easy play for him. Arana right in front of him. Cornelius. 
Finding Arana, close to the basket, sidestep jumper is good. That's a thing of beauty there coming from uh, Justin Arana. Here's Stockton. Stockton, oh, getting free off of Tana, and gets the jumper to fall. Another look at that again, Stockton showing off the little hesitation, the spin right at the face off of Tana. And that's very impressive. Because naturally, there were frustrations on his end, when he had, which he admitted earlier. But it was during that match against SMP where Alvin finally got the green light to play his game. Switching defense here from the TNT throw, Pangiga, Karilich, Atayko, Buntin, and takes it straight to the glass. Nieto. Pick and roll play for Parada in front of him, Nieto. Can't get three to go, but Buntin collects the rebound. Great defensive play again from the team, Dietro Pangiga. Last shot. Oh, oh. I'm in. Stockton to Arana. Playing a little give and go here with Arana. And what a defensive stop here coming from TNT. Jason Castro finding Kobutin inside. Step on Stockton, and all of a sudden we're knotted up at 59 all. Almost a takeaway here. Jason Castro has his hands over everything. Oh, but it doesn't matter as Converge regained the lead. Momentum shifting back here for Converge. Then Santos to Santos, but then Jason Castro has been trying to do it all here. He gets the steal and he gets the finish, but Jason Castro a bit slow to get up, but he eventually does. Stop it. They have a one-man advantage here. Can they... Make it work, and oh my goodness! De Los Santos with a nifty reverse. First team after that timeout, coach, and let's take a look at this again. Where have we seen that sort of <laughs> highlight recently? <laughs> TNT with a chance to tie with a three. Calvin Octana. Oh, and stolen by Shawnee Winston. It is Melejo off to the races, finding Magdenburg, and Magdenburg finishes on the break. Aljun Melejo has struggled all. Confidence long with the beautiful pass here to Magdenburg and then on the next play. He refuses to pick. Melesho can't get free. He pulls up anyway. Oh, and wow. he gets it! Play face to face with the tough defense of Kim Montalvo. Aljun with a step back three to give this eight point lead to converge. 77 6. Montana is asking for it. But it's still Paul Goy working on that and Bird and the block from Cornelius. Nice play here, showing us some great hops here in that Cornelius blocking away from behind. And Coach Shot Reyes with this lineup playing without a point guard. A big lineup here for, for Shot Reyes. Let's see if it works. Here's Paul Goy. He'll pull up. Can't get the three. Kobuntin has it. And he will get a basket and one. Take a look at this again. Santos complaining, got hit in the neck. And it doesn't matter because that time that was a clean rebound. And that is a two for Kobunti. He hands it off to Shawnee Winston now. Shawnee back to Aljun. Mangenberg will give him a pick. He'll shoot straight away. And Aljun Melesho is feeling it. Back to Aljun. Wait for a pick from Mangenberg. He'll pull up again for three. And Aljun oh. Melesho cannot miss. And that, that was a simple screen of uh, putting him on somebody like him all in. And to be fair, you don't want Alger Melesho anywhere near the post. Alger Melesho attacks BGR, floater no good. That's the way, that's how you should defend him. Let him put the ball on the floor. Oh, and Alvin makes the jumper anyway. Let's put on the line. Let's see here. So, yeah, but definitely within the three-point area and definitely got count. it out on time. It's it will count. count. And Alger Melesho. Not seen on your screen. There he is. Alton Melesho shoots over RR. And that would have really erupted the house as we have Winston with a three and he drains it. Cornelius kept it alive and you have to credit him as well. Second chance opportunities. And Alan Pugoy gets back the, the, the points quickly here for TNT. That game's like, huh, looks like a match my production for the entire conference. Here's a matchup that Calvin Optano likes, and he takes advantage of it. And now, now TNT is headhunting. Whoever is being defended by Melange, by Aljun, they are 
going straight to the post and they're getting to him. Earlier it was Pugoy, now it's Otana. Aljamilesho will try and get two back here. Time Santos, oh great passing here at Magdenburg. Let's BGR fly by. Because they got Aljamilesho off the court with their offense. Stockton blocked by Otana. Cornelius moving the ball to Magdenburg. Magdenburg, no good. Weighing out his options, Magdenburg against Castro. Size advantage, working against Pogoy, gets the basket and one. He pushed the ball on the floor, and then this is what happens. Jason Castro against Magdenburg in the low block. For TT Pro Pagiga, they are now 9 of 30. Magdenburg finds oh. a way to score! Magdenburg open, and he finishes strong. Stockton with assist number four, and that one to Magdenburg, and he'll shoot a goal. Throughout the entire conference, he had 25. He has 10 today. Montalvo attacking. Working on Magdenburg, and, Ma and that's a, another great defensive stop for them. Watch Arana, coach, because Arana is in foul trouble. Five fouls already for Arana. Stockton finding Arana. Arana working on Ponferrada, the turnaround J, that's good! Oh, that's a sweet looking move there, shades of Danny Eye for sure. 15 points for Arana, and that was a much needed three-pointer from Calvin Octana. 13 point lead, so they desperately needed that one coach. Here's Stockton working on Kip Montalvo. Now it's Arana. Two point for Arana right in front of him. Still hesitation. Arana attracts a couple. Finds Stockton in the corner. Magdeburg has to shoot and Magdeburg finishes again! Magdeburg is playing the game of his life here for Converge. And you gotta speed this up if you're TNT. He has 12 points, shooting 5 of 9 from the field, talking about Magdenburg. Here Montalvo. Gobundin in the corner, gets that! Big three there from Glenn Gobundin. Keeps Converge within striking distance. 100 to 88. Here's Arana. From Portarada. This is an isolation, really. Now handing it off. Great pass. Mecara Lipio. All game long for Converge. And then Justin Arana. He attracts a lot of double teams here from the TNT. Oh boy. Waiting for the play to develop here. Open up in the corner. Octana with a free three. Fantastic after timeout play there. Now it's our, our full boy. Avinostana again! He is dragging TNT back into this. 102-93 here. Calvin Octana has had the last two baskets here for TNT. Arana, can they answer back? Del Santos spins. Magdenburg will try a three. No good. As Julpon Ferrada hands it off to Montalvo, who sees our Pogoy. Pogoy working on Stockton. And that's FEU on FEU violence, and our Pogoy wins out. Ferrada working on Magdenburg. Pogoy has it here. Back in Magdenburg, he has a speed advantage, and Pogoy and Ostana have been the key, key reasons yep. why TNT are back in this game. And that's something that's available to you for TNT if Justin Arana is not there. Why not attack the pick and roll defense of Magdenburg? And terrific defense here from Ponferrada. And they're on the run. Montalvo to go Boutin. And what a stop from Santos. But whistle for the foul. Stopped it. Find Shawnee Winston. A little hesitation. A jumper. He gets it as the shot clock expires. Maybe the biggest shot of his career so far. Here. Converge. 52.6 left here in the fourth quarter. Still every what a game so far. What a game from Converge by Directors. How about going out with a bang? But let's see if there is any late drama here. Our boy, pull up three. Oh! A lot of time left! To make this a two possession game. Magdenburg giving Pogoy some room in uh, uh, 
knocks it down. Los Santos, Winston, Stockton, and Magdenburg. Shawnee to make this a two possession game. He gets it. That was an important basket. And the Converge Fiber Xers will end their Philippine Cup campaign with a win. It was a disappointing campaign for Converge, but this was a memorable win.